Okay. Okay. This gun is a different gravy. You ever had those moments where someone kills you in PvP and then you instantly switch to the weapon that they killed you with? Right, well, it's exactly like that, except I haven't moved past this weapon yet. And honestly, I don't really see that much of a reason to swap even after death. And oh, would you look at that? It's helping me meet lots of lovely new people. Can't wait to talk to my new friend here. Now, this Neo Muna Lightful Pulse Rifle Crafted Weapon Philo Tactic Spiral. Now, this is the gun that has made me enjoy PvP a lot more. And that sentence was a mouthful. It's long range, it's accurate, and it does devastating damage output. And all in all, it's just a really top tier pick, whether it be for competitive or even casual PvP. I mean, what other weapons are people using these days, right? So with it being a crafted weapon, we can really customize this to our liking. So even before I suggest what I'm running, please take whatever suits you and fits your playstyle. For the barrel choice, I would personally go with small bore. Any barrel with range in PvP helps the damage fall off, so there's a plethora of them to go and take. But also a cheeky suggestion towards the arrowhead break barrel, because it maxes out that recoil direction for way better control. As of the magazine, again, it's going to be range focused, guys. Ricochet rounds if you leave someone on low health and then bank a saucy shot off a wall around the corner, you might be able to go and finish them off. Or even high caliber rounds to add extra flinch per shot to get advantages in those PvP situations. Now, as for the first column of traits, it has a bit of variety to go ahead and spice it up with, but we're going to be sticking towards the keep away trait. This increases your range, your reload, and your accuracy whenever enemies are further than 15 meters away from you. Now, you are using a high impact pulse rifle, so keeping your distance is definitely something that's going to pair well with this trait. Pick your fights, aim down sights, and you can really go and hold your ground in majority of fights. That rhymes. That wasn't... That, now, as for the second column, again, in terms of PvP, we have a couple of good ones to work with, but this season really is showing the strength of the Head Seeker trait, especially with weapons that burst fire in increments of three or even more, and also kick upwards with recoil. This makes it easy to shoot towards the chest, and then it will end up by headshotting them, hopefully at the end of the burst, making this quite a strong selection inside this column. Let's go and finish all of this off with a range intrinsic again for that damage fall off and sprinkle in some cheeky PvP mods on the weapon and the armor to help ease itself into some of the smoothest shooting that you will do. Now, this weapon is a menace, and it's only right that more videos cover content on its performance. I don't always enjoy the state of balancing in PvP, especially when it comes to Destiny. It can leave quite a frustrating mark on your emotional state. Yeah, slamming keyboards, punching screens. But since using this gun for the last 20 or so games, I've genuinely been having way more fun, and it's a good way to sit back and semi-counter those nasty SMGs that you're meeting. What kind of weapons have you guys been using in PvP this season? Do you reckon there's any other primaries that I should look into? And if so, leave me a recommendation. I'll definitely give it a little look into. And as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, keeping it very short and sweet. A friendly reminder that if you did like it, hit that like button. And you guys can always catch me over at my live streams if you guys want to go and chill out. If you're new to this channel, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But until next time, take it easy out there.